Hi. Welcome to Billy Bob's All You Can Eat Crab Rangoon Buffet. May I interest you in some crab rangoons? <laughs> well, yes, I'll take a pineapple crab rangoon. I'll, uh, I'll take two strawberry crab rangoons, a banana <laughs> crab rangoon. Um, give me one that has extra mayo. Um, okay. Two glasses of sparkling water. One ice cube, please. Um, <laughs> one ice cube. <laughs> and then I'll take um, 16 loaded crab rangoons. Thank you. I mean, so this is a buffet, so you can just go and grab whatever you want. But oh, um, okay, since you're uh, since you're ordering all this stuff in bulk, we're also going to give you a free durian crab rangoon. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a special new promotion. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Oh, no. My, name, my name's not David. What's your name? I, I thought... My name's Billy Bob's Crang- Crab Rangoon Buffet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's your own name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought... Well, your name badge says David, so I don't know... Oh, yeah. Don't listen to that. That was um, that was actually a guy who got fired yesterday named David. So, uh, he... Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of taking his badge until I get my own, but... Okay, I understand. Yeah, like, my name is so long that, like, they need a lot of time to, like, write all the letters on it, because uh, the person who writes out those things, they don't know how to write, and so they have to memorize how to write each letter out. <laughs> the person who writes the things don't know how to write. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, but, like, <laughs> they have to be very particular, though, because, like, they have to make it look like it's, you know, like, official text. So, like, if they mess up, like, even a little bit, they have to start over. Why don't they just use that fucking printer thing? Uh, well, see, we would, but the guy named David who got fired took it with him when he left because he got angry. He got angry and just left and <laughs> took it with him. Yeah, like, he didn't touch anything else. He just took the, the printer for the names. And he took his he took one durian crab ringoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Welcome to the Strawberry Boys Podcast. Welcome! Thank you for joining us. Uh, we've got you. an episode. Th- th- thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Our episode today is f- chock full, chock full of crab rangoons. If you've been c- craving Strawberry Boys crab rangoon madness like we have, this is the episode for you. <laughs> mm, I really don't like crab rangoon at all. I don't either. I don't eat any seafood. <laughs> Actually, I, I do like crab rangoon. I was lying the whole time. Oh, okay. I do like crab rangoon. It's good. Why you really don't like it or no? I don't really like anything from the sea, dude. Like all that seafood stuff, like creeps me out. You're weird, dude. I have the fucking craziest eating habits. You do for sure. Yeah. All you eat is craft macaroni and cheese. All I eat is craft rangoons. Craft <laughs> rangoons. You'll, yeah. You won't eat any of anything else but craft rangoons. Exactly, yeah. It's got to be Kraft uh, Rangoonian cheese. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I had to keep it silent because that was uh, one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. Oh, right. Of course. Yeah. It was so funny you forgot to laugh. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny I forgot to laugh. Um, and you know what I like to do? Because like uh, I need some entertainment while I eat my... Crab Rangoonie and cheese. Um, yes. I watched the Rangoonies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one where they do the truffle shuffle, right? Yeah, exactly. Except it's with cra- it's, the, it's not truffles, though. It's with Crab Rangoons. <laughs> it's the Crab Rangoon shuffle. <laughs> it's just a dance. It's also footloose at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Footloose. <laughs> I love that scene in Footloose where everyone is like talking about crab rangoons and they just like go into detail about how to make them and then it's never mentioned again. Yeah, well, they do. It's like a whole song though, and they dance. It's like, mm-hmm. let's get down to the crab rangoon. And they like do it and they like, while they're making them, they're dancing. We can't dance in this town. Oh, yeah, that's, like, how you figure it out, because, like, they're all dancing. They're like, get loose, Rangoons. Um, and, <laughs> that's um, so good. Yeah, get, get goons, Rangoons. 
<laughs> and um but like and the, they're all making the crab rangoons and then like they're all dancing and stuff but then like you know the the like the the guy who says that it's illegal to dance he like busts open the door and he's like you you can't dance in here you're not allowed to do that and everyone's like oh like we're just gonna take our crab rangoons home then yeah we'll go <laughs> <laughs> and we're not gonna dance at all <laughs> We'll never dance again, officer. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, but like when they go home, they have the crab rangoons. Like they uh, they put on like the one of those like disco lights, and they like mm-hmm. just set the lighting so that it's like you know the the slow dance at the at the prom. Yeah. And they start slow dancing with their crab rangoons to "In the Air Tonight" by Phil Collins. Oh, we love that for them. We love that for them. Yeah. Speaking of that for them, uh, somebody has an order. <laughs> Oh, did you get your thing? <laughs> yeah. Do you need to go grab it? Do we need yeah. to take a break while you go and eat that? Yeah, I'm going to eat it for 10 hours, and I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, cool. Hello? Hi, sis. Hi, sis. Are you working the boots house down, sis? Are you swiffering that bussy across the floor to slay for the gods' nerves for your work? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that was the Crab Rangoons talking. <laughs> You're so high on Crab Rangoons. Dude, I'm fucking high. <laughs> My brain is fried on Crab Rangoons. No! Sorry. I was swiping on Twitter, and uh, there was a really cute guy, and I accidentally swiped left on him. Not on Twitter, fucking on Tinder, yeah. Did you buy it where you can go back? No, dude. I'm not paying fucking money for Tinder. If you want to find a relationship, you have to spend money on Tinder. Yeah, if you want to, you want to find love, don't you? <laughs> yeah, spend $5. You want to be happy, don't you? <laughs> if you want to be happy, you need to spend $5 on Tinder. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll never find love. Otherwise, you're going to be sad. You're going to be sitting in your room alone, and you're not even going to have a crab rangoon to dance to in the ni- air tonight with. Yeah. <laughs> I had this mental image in my head just now of you dancing with the crab in your room. <laughs> <laughs> because you're like, I hate crab rangoon. I don't want anyone to kill the crabs. And you're like dancing with the crab, like. Yeah, like, I, like, close the door and I'm like, okay, they're all gone now. We can finally be together. <laughs> exactly. Scott <laughs> Scott the Crab. His name is Scott. Oh, dude, Scott. Scott's a great name. I would totally date someone named Scott. I wouldn't. Oh, well. Only one reason. Why? What's that? Because it reminds me of that movie where it has that song where it's like, Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. What movie is that from? That sounds super weird. I feel like it's like not another teenage movie or something or like. That sounds like, okay, that checks. This is all kind of coming together now. It's like a, it's like a parody movie, I think. Oh, 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 okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Oh my God. I just thought of a movie that I haven't seen in so long, but it's one of my favorite movies. What is it? If you don't know this movie, I'm going to be kind of, I mean, I won't be shocked, but like. <laughs> But you will be disappointed. <laughs> but I will be disappointed, yes. A new guy. Or the new guy. I've never heard of that before. You've never heard of the new guy? I don't think so, no. Oh my god, it's so good. Do you know who Eddie Griffin is? No. Okay. Do you know who the skinny white dude who stars in that movie is? Oh yeah, him, of course. No. He, he's got like the nose. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's skinny, he's tall, he's white. He has a big nose. All right. I can't think of his name right now. I have no idea. We'll have to look it up. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Fuck it. Skinny, skinny white guy, long, big nose, tall. In Wait, we'll just look up fucking the new guy. DJ Qualls? Yes, that's him. We love him. He's so funny. Yo, his character's name is Dizzy Harrison? Yes, Dizzy Harrison. Oh, yes. dude, what an awesome name. Dude, I want to be called Dizzy Harrison. That movie is so good. 
It's so funny. What's it about? It's about us. Uh, okay. So he's like a nerd and he like gets bullied and shit. And then he's like tired of living that life. And so he um, like he tries to become a badass and he goes to a new school. So he gets himself <laughs> like expelled from his old school. And then he goes to a new school and he's like supposed to be like the badass guy after he goes to prison to learn how to be a badass. Mm hmm. And so when he goes to the new school, his first day at the new school, because he made friends with all like the prison guards and stuff too, they like pull up in like a prison truck and they like pull him out and he's like strapped to this thing and he has like a mask on <laughs> and like a leather jacket under it. Oh my God. <laughs> and they like, they like, unzip him and stuff and they like run as quick as they can like he's so scary so that everyone in the school is like whoa who's that he's so hot and badass he's such a bad dude <laughs> what a bad boy <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're gonna have to show it to me one time we'll have to watch it together and we'll we talk about it we should watch it it's really good soup's good soupy good soupy good you know what else is a soupy good movie that we've seen recently? Yes. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Yes. It's one of my favorite movies actually now. Oh, ever? Not ever, but like it's really good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I've never seen a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Yeah, man. we I had a lot of fun watching that with you. Um, but the reason that we are watching it is because we are going to be on another podcast soon. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's called Real Horror Show, and it's with uh, one of my buddies, Sam. She and one of her friends talk about horror movies. And so we're going to go give our completely objective and not fucking stupid analysis of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to be there just being idiots. We're just going to be, like, very serious the whole time. We're not going to make a single joke. No jokes allowed. Yeah. So don't don't expect a single joke if you listen to that, because we're going to be very serious boys who never make jokes ever. <laughs> you should definitely listen to them. They're really good. I've, I've listened to their podcast. I like it. It's good. Yeah, yeah. She's she's lovely. She makes a really great podcast. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be on. I'm excited. Yeah. I wonder when they're going to do Footloose featuring uh, the Crab <laughs> Rangoons. <laughs> I mean, maybe next, maybe the week after that we're on maybe they'll do it the next week probably of course they would do that they would make it so that um you know we we start like hyping up the crab rangoons and all of a sudden they're like oh we want to do the crab rangoons (laughs) (laughs) i think we should smash the crab rangoons i'll just you know no more turn into rangoop crab rangoop Ooh, yum Ooh, crab ring soup Crab ring soup. Mmm. I, I could use some soup right now. Yeah, because you've got, like... I don't know if anyone could tell, but my throat is messed up. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, Tyler is actually, while we've been recording, he's been, like, skateboarding and doing all kinds of, like, crazy tricks on, like, a skateboard and a snowboard at the same time. Because he's sick. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna cough in the mic. <laughs> yeah, Tyler has uh, he has SARS, he has bronchitis, he's got um, appendicitis, and the measles. He's got measles. <laughs> um, ooh, what else? What else do you have? You have um, gonorrhea. You got gonorrhea. <laughs> um, you got tryptophobia. I do have that. You do have that. I have that too, dude. I fucking hate that. Um, so yeah, you're. Things are going really hard for you. We should start yeah. like a GoFundMe for you to <laughs> start a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, for all of your diseases. <laughs> I mean, I'm down as long as I don't have to work again. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna live off the GoFundMe. <laughs> Shout out to all my sugar daddies out there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a cold. I got a sore throat today, and I'm not gonna work ever again. <laughs> I've had a sore throat for two days, and I don't think I can ever work again, Daddy. Ooh, I can (laughs) never work again. I'm just so helpless. (laughs) (laughs) So, David. Yes, what's up, Tyler? Speaking of being helpless. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> what's it? <laughs> what's it like? Um, being in Atlanta without anybody around you, you know? Yeah, it is what it is, you know. Sorry, that was mean. I did not mean to say that. I just couldn't think of anything to say. What, what's it like to be in Atlanta with no fucking friends because you're a stupid loser? <laughs> I did not mean to say that. That was so shitty. That's <laughs> no, okay. I Honestly, like, I didn't even interpret it that way. It's like, yeah, I don't really have anyone around. It's hard to get around. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can borrow my car. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't have a fucking car. And uh, that makes it virtually impossible to get around anywhere. So I've been completely relying on stuff like DoorDash and like Target deliveries to like get things into my house and like Amazon. And like if I did not have that stuff, I would have literally like fucking died by now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Amazon. We stan. We stan. We stan. We stan. We stan Amazon. <laughs> Stan is on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, yes. We stand yes. these queens. <laughs> like, legit. If if I didn't have those, like, delivery services, I would have to walk fucking, like, almost a mile up this, like, frontage road on the interstate and fucking go to a convenience store and buy a bunch of food from there and live off of that. Yeah, that is trash. Yeah, man. But like I'm saving I'm saving some good money. Like not having a car. I mean, you should get a car. Yeah, I'll get a car when I'm not fucking entrenched in debt. Just get a car now. Like right now like at, on the podcast. Do you want me to Do you want me to Yeah, let's do a podcast where you buy a car. Dude, yeah, we'll do like a we'll do a live action where <laughs> David buys a car. I'm like, "Hey, we're walking up to the Mazda dealership. David's about to buy a Kia Soul." Um, I'm here with him. His credit card is out. He's scared. He's shaking. He's crying. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even gotten there yet, and he's already, like, in the corner <laughs> crying. Like, I don't even see how he's in the corner. There's no corners in this car. <laughs> yeah, we're not in the Kia Soul yet, but David found a corner in my car, and he's crying, and he won't stop shaking back and forth. <laughs> and his arms have turned green with, like, plants coming out of them? <laughs> He's turning into Groot. He's turning into Groot, yeah. He just keeps rocking back and forth saying, I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, David, you're not Groot. That's a movie. What are you talking about? That's not a real David, one. what did we say about being Groot? <laughs> you're like, I am mac and cheese. I am noodles. I am noodles. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not mac and cheese. You're not noodles. You're not Groot. You're David. You're going to be okay. You're going to have a new, brand new 2012 Kia Soul. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to turn to you and I'm going to be like, oh, I'm not mac and cheese? Well, what kind of guy are you are? <laughs> what kind of guy are you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And then you're going to get a Kia Soul and you're going to get three hamsters to drive around your Kia Soul with you. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. When I got my first Kia Soul uh, a few years ago, my mom was like, oh, you need to get the little hamsters and put them on the back of your car. I'm like, <laughs> no, mom, no hamsters. No hamsters, not this time. Unless they're like real hamsters and they just live in my car. That would be a bad idea. And especially in a hot Atlanta in the summer. These hamsters are hot, but this Kia Soul is oh so cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you're going to go out one day and those hamsters are going to be roasted hamsters. At least you'll have dinner. Yeah, I was going to be like, oh, dude, what's this yummy meal in here? <laughs> oh, I forgot about these hamsters by Kia Soul. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I have dinner. Yum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because the fucking the Amazon people didn't come today, so I didn't have dinner prepared. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, dude, I'm going to have like a refrigerated space for them. Like it's going to be like a cool little shed inside my car and they're going to have like a little hookah that they can smoke on. <laughs> yeah, they're still going to be roasted. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, my my uh my hamster AC system is going to be foolproof. They're going to be totally chill. 
All right. I doubt it. Your battery's going to... You're going to have to jumpstart your car every day. <laughs> Listen, dude, if, like, that's the price I got to pay to have my little hamster babies. Or, like, some, or like you're going to have an extension cord coming out of your house. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what's going to happen. Down the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Like, from the top floor of my building, just fucking have, like, a giant, like, extension cord that <laughs> drapes down into my car, which is, like, in a parking garage on the other side of the complex. Exactly. Like, there's just going to be, like, a long, like, core that stretches for, like, half a mile. It's going to be just multiple, multiple extension cords. Just, have like, six of them. How many extension cords do you think we would need to connect half a mile of wires? 17. Oh, that's a good number. I'm going to say 14. Oh, actually, I'm going to say 25. 25? Okay. Or 20. Um, so, they 21, range- 21, 21. 21. Okay. So, uh, extension cords come in various lengths from a few feet to 100 feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. So, uh, if we use a hundred foot extension cords and we want to go half a mile, we would have to go, uh, with, let me see. So there's 5,280 feet in a mile, uh, a hundred foot extension cords, uh, divide that by two for half a mile, 26.4. I was close. You were fucking close, dude. I'm so smart. Dude, you have you have extension cord ESP. <laughs> dude, I have extension cord ESPN. Oh, dude. Love that channel. <laughs> not not ESPN, extension cord ESPN. Yeah, of course. Yeah. ESPN yeah. doesn't even go here. <laughs> I can't believe I was actually close. I said, what did I say? Did I say 26 or just 25? I think it said 21. But then I said something before that, though. I said 25, I think. I I don't know. Dude, I have the memory of a fucking goldfish. <laughs> you can't expect me to remember these kinds of things. <laughs> Either way, I win. Either way, you win, yeah. We operate by the Price is Right rules here on the Strawberry Boys podcast. Uh, yeah, I did it. Uh, hello, is this the extension cord uh, speaking through, Tyler? <laughs> yes. Either way, I win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a winner. I just want everyone to know that I'm a winner. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved in uh so to go take it take it back to Footloose, I really love when they had that song on, on Footloose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause they had that whole they had that whole montage where uh Jim Carrey was doing like learning how to do karate. No. Yeah. Dude, you no. don't remember that? Dude, we watched like Footloose like with the Crab no. Rangoons like 15 minutes ago. No. No. Okay. Okay, mister. I'm an encyclopedia no. of Footloose featuring Crab Rangoons. Why don't no. you tell me what happened? So what happened was Kevin Bacon. He was out there just chilling, dancing. He was like making bacon Crab Rangoons. <laughs> and, uh, he threw a sausage at Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey caught it and was like, Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. I wish I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't either. <laughs> Smoking. Because <laughs> that's, that's what he said about the bacon. Because um, cause Kevin Bacon was cooking his bacon too long. <laughs> He's like, smoke it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, uh, hey, Kevin, this bacon is uh, smoking. Kevy, baby. Kevy, baby, this bacon is burnt. Dude, you're burning up that bacon. And um, he thought that it was just like, oh, he's like complimenting his dance moves. Like he's doing really well. And he's like, oh, thanks, dude. And he like starts, go he keeps going and he keeps ignoring the bacon. And you know how he does that thing with his spatula, Kevin? Mm hmm. What's the thing that he does with his spatula? Like he flips it around his finger like a gun. You know, how, like they do in old westerns. <laughs> yeah. He just does that the whole time. He's like, check this out, Jim. <laughs> he's like totally not even paying attention to the bacon. <laughs> That's why it gets burnt. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Jim Carrey's like, dude, take care of that. Tur- turn it off. Turn the fucking burner off. And and uh, Kevin Bacon's just like, ha, you're rooting tootin', ha. See, get it? Because it's like the Western thing. It's like what they do with the guns, you know? Yeah, and he's doing it with both hands. Yeah. and <laughs> I'm doing it right now, but nobody can see me. But mm-hmm. I'm doing the moves. I've got the moves yeah, going. Yeah. Jim Carrey's just like, no, like, stop. And and then uh like he stops for a second, like Kevin Bacon stops, and then he like pretends to like, oh draw and he like pretends to like bring out the spatula <laughs> like he's draw- drawing a pistol at him. <laughs> and then he just smacks Jim Carrey in the face. And then Jim Carrey <laughs> Jim Carrey just pulls out a mask, a mask from his back pocket, and he mm-hmm. puts it on and he fucking And then he's protected from COVID. <laughs> and then he's protected from COVID. <laughs> 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 I was trying to think of a mask, the mask quote, but that's better. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know she's so coy. I love it and smoking, smoking. My knowledge of the mask is about as deep as my knowledge of Fred Durst. <laughs> uh, mine is. Wait, what? What? You don't know about Fred Durst? We went over this last episode. I know like two Fred Durst songs. We just need to have a, like a segment on our podcast where we talk about Fred Durst news. That means we have to Google him and find out what's going on with his life. Yeah, we're going to have to actually do research and put work into this. Mm, I'd rather not. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Durst Watch is going to be postponed for now. Yeah, maybe next week, but. Yeah. Next week we're bringing in Durst Watch. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a five, we're gonna do a twelve a fifteen second segment of Durst Watch where we have to get it all done in fifteen seconds. Oh, dude, that's it's like a speed round. Yeah. You know he actually released a new song recently. No, he did. You're lying, dude. He legit did. Like, I need to listen to it. It's called Dad Vibes. <laughs> See, I thought you were serious, and I'm upset. <laughs> I, dude, I'm just completely fucking serious. I'm dead serious. I wish it was. I wish that was real. Dude, it's real. I'm sending it to you right now. You're going to listen to it after the real. podcast. It's real, dude. Look. It's, it's not real. You're lying. <laughs> no, dude, You're dad so, vibes is a Dad Vibes is a real Limp Bizkit song. No, it's not. You're, <laughs> yes, you're, it I, is, you're sending me a... Uh, you're hacking my phone, I think. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to steal my nudes, bro. That no, that's okay. <laughs> oh what? You don't want to steal my nudes? What the fuck? No, if I wanted to, I could just fucking talk to someone else and be like, "Hey, give me Tyler's nudes." This is not real. It's fucking real, dude. It's a real song, <laughs> and it's like not bad. Like it's okay. David, mm-hmm. do you want to know my favorite meal is? What? It's a uh, chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water. Thank you. Mmm, nice one, dude. Thank you. I get that because that's the Fred Durst album. Yes, Queen. Yes. Yes. Fucking slay, Fred Durst. <laughs> Look at him work that runway. He's gonna sashay <laughs> into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fucking slay. <laughs> How do you like your orange juice? Um, are you are you a pulp boy? Are you a no pulp no, boy? No, I don't like pulp. I don't like the pulp and orange juice. I'm very I'm very pulpy. Oh, you're a pulpy boy. I'm a pulpy boy. What about how about this? Like we get we both get pulp orange juice, and I'll just like filter out all the pulp from mine and give it to you. Like put it in yours. That works. That works. <laughs> just like when you order a burger and like. Whoever you're with, they're like, like you're like, I don't like pickles, and they're like, I'll take your pickles, <laughs> and like you just fucking give me your pickles. It's the same thing, but with orange juice. Exactly. Yeah, it's like the same with the orange juice pulp. That's so gross. <laughs> 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 like at that point, it's like half orange, half like slush. <laughs> yeah. It's like pulp slush. <laughs> I don't think I would like that idea though. To be honest, like I just don't want no. regular pulp. How much a little bit of pulp? A moderate amount of pulp. You're not trying to go crazy here. Yeah. I'm not trying to be the pulp, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Who was in Tangerine City? (laughs) 
I've been to the um, fucking pulp place. Va- the Vatican, pulp place? Vatican City. Yeah, Vatican City, dude. I've been there. I've been there. Did that. Is that where the Spanish steps are? Uh, it's nearby, I think. It's like two miles away. Oh, okay. Or like, I don't know how far away, to be honest. I've made that up. But it's like in the same place. It's in Italy. Keep your friend, keep, keep your, keep your popes close and your Spanish steps closer. <laughs> Dude, we should travel to Europe and do, uh, do like a live action video. Can we please? You know what, David? We should go to Europe. We should. There's a lot of, um, hot dudes in Europe. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. We can hang out with them. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang out with them. We'll get some We'll get some groupies and we'll travel across Europe. I know some, and I know some people who know some. Mm-hmm. And we could go. I'm sure you know some people. I've I've met people before. <laughs> You've met That sounds so fake. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I've met, I've met people. Yeah, I don't live in a basement. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. I, I too, am a human. I have, uh... Corresponded with humans before. (laughs) (laughs) I participate in social interactions every day. (laughs) Did you just fart? Negative. Negative. That is not what happened, Fred and Tyler. (laughs) Shutting down. Yeah, I think we should shut down this podcast forever. Reboot. (laughs) <laughs> nope. Hi, Bye. welcome to the Strawberry Boys podcast. <laughs> um, hello, David Bot sixty nine thousand. We are ending the podcast now. Bye. Good processing, processing, processing. Evening, friend Tyler. Hi, Alexa. Say, this is the end of the Strawberry Boys podcast. This is the end of the Strawberry Boys podcast. <laughs> hey, Alexa. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. All right, bye. Thanks for listening to the Strawberry Boys podcast, everyone. Thank you. It's so much fun. Uh, well, I don't know if you guys think it's fun, but it's fun for us. Uh, thank <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you for listening to the Strawberry Boys podcast. Subscribe on YouTube, Spotify. Check out the links. Check us out on TikTok. Yeah, we upload clips. Uh, you want to get little short bits of Strawberry Boys? You can go find it there. Yep. To share with your friends. Yeah. And tell your mom I said what's up. Yeah, exactly. Like that's that's the call to action for this episode. Your homework is to go tell your mom that uh, we said what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Bye.